Have you ever been confused about how to handle error responses in your servlet code? It can be tricky, right? If that's you, then you're in the right place. Today, we're diving into the differences between using set status and send error in your servlet responses. I totally get it. When you're writing servlets, understanding how to properly manage error responses is crucial. You're not alone in this confusion. Many developers face the same question. Here's the specific question we're addressing today. One user asked, when writing a servlet, what's the difference between response.setStatus500 and response.sendError500? If you've ever wondered about this, stick around as we break it down. So what exactly is the difference? Both methods deal with HTTP status codes, but they serve different purposes. Understanding this can help you handle errors more effectively in your applications. And don't go anywhere. By the end of this video, you'll not only know the difference, but also when to use each method for optimal results. To understand the difference between response.setStatus500 and response.sendError500, Let's start with response.setStatus. This method sets the status code of the response but does not send any error message to the client. In contrast, response.sendError500 not only sets the status code to 500, but also sends a default error message to the client. This is useful when the user wants to inform the client about an error that occurred. It's important to note that when using response.sendError, the response is considered complete. This means that no further content should be written to the response after calling this method. On the other hand, after using response.setStatus, the user can still write additional content to the response. This allows for more flexibility in how the response is constructed. In summary, the user should choose response.setStatus when they want to set a status code without sending an error message and response.sendError when they want to indicate an error and send a message to the client. Fun fact, the HTTP status codes we use today were first introduced in 1991. It's amazing how these codes have become a fundamental part of web communication. Now, let's look at the answers provided by other users. This user explains that using set status can be overridden by another set status call with a different code. However, send error immediately sends the error code to the client and cannot be changed afterward. Therefore, for handling errors, it's better to use send error. Here's a quick tip. Use response.setStatus when you want to indicate a status without an error message, and use response.sendError when you want to provide more context about the error. This will make your error handling much clearer. And there you have it. Now you know the difference between response.setStatus and response.sendError. Understanding these methods will help you write better servlet code. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to subscribe for more tips and tricks.